Hello Saber Forum, this is Manroon again with a quick video review of my old Ultra Sabers SI uh, V2, the standard issue. I got this in a grab bag back in January as uh, one of my first two Ultra Sabers purchases. This came with uh, my Prophecy CE V2, in, which was in Fire Orange. That's that saber is constants, very heavily modded it now. Uh, you've probably already seen my video on that. Uh, here's the one for Topic, the SI. Uh, quick rundown. She has a Ultra Edge heavy grade blade. Not my favorite blade style, but I ordered one of each of the heavy grades at the time to see how they looked, because there was a lot of hype for both. Uh, you can see it came with these nice grooves machined into it. There's a few more that have been covered up uh, as I've modded and customized this. Uh, working back up from the bottom, I added a D-ring, the quartz leather strap, uh, marble tied in here, two washers and some wire to do that. It was very tricky to actually get that in there, but I think it was well worth it. The green accent really accents the hilt nice. Jedi credit from my copy of the Jedi Path. Uh, another great piece, great book. Highly recommend it. And uh, this white stuff on here, rubber material, is actually, I used it for grips. It is really a power strip element from an old home lighting kit I had. Uh, the Orabesh is just painted on with a regular acrylic model paint. Pick it up at Michael's or any place like that. The writing translates to Topic, the name of the saber. More of that same power strip element done in a wrap, which is probably my favorite feature of the saber that I added because it is a perfect fit grip for my right hand. You can see it lines up with my fingers and my palm really nicely. Uh, very solid, very comfortable, no matter how much my hand sweats, it I can never lose my grip on this. And a nice other thing is it lines up pretty well with my left hand too. So makes for a great offhand saber as well. I do like to pair this with Otenbasan, my Ultra Sabers Bellicose. Uh, lower grip was made from some US Army uh, mountain troop backpack rope that uh, ripped off of a pack uh, from World War II. So, very cool. Nice sort of little homage to uh, our country's fighting men there. And it's a comfortable grip. I just tied it and glued it on and it's stayed ever since. The bandana is a little homemade thing, a tribute to a favorite anime character of mine, Ryoga Hibiki from Ranma Half. Uh, some of you may not know that show, some of you might. If you do, you know how how awesome that character is, and the show as a whole. Uh, if not, go YouTube it. Make sure you watch it from the beginning, it's a hilarious show. Um, to get down to the fine points of the saber, it's aluminum, just like every other Ultra Saber that is currently available. Very, very durable. Before it got all the mods, this thing had been dropped, thrown actually, by a friend of mine in combat. Uh, Skid it on pavement, it'll take anything you can dish out and just keep going. It is a really solid, durable saber, great value, uh, good starter, good fighting hilt. I highly recommend it. Great value for the price. And uh, mine's running Guardian Blue with Ultra Edge. So you can see how that looks. Very full, very bright. The only problem I have with the Ultra Edge versus Standard is that it gets kind of pastel. As you can see, it gets dimmer and more pastel towards the end of the blade. Um, that's why I keep it on this Saber, actually, is because Guardian Blue is pretty much the only thing I've found that can cut through this and still look decent. I really prefer the Standard myself, but still, it's a great blade. It looks good, uh, and it's... It's durable. I love the heavy grades for fighting. You can't beat them. So uh, aside from that, I just want to tack on a little bit here to show you 
What I have been using is a saber kit to hold all my spare batteries, chargers, belt clips, and etc. Got an old 77 lunchbox, so just thought I'd share that with you all. A little beat up, a little rusty, but actually has the Luke sticker on it. Just found this one day and it had an X Wing on it, so I had to have it. Uh, that's it. Force be with you, and uh, that's it.